Okay, you know what time it is. Got a package here today. It's wrapped kind of in a thin, weird package, but it is extremely heavy. The entire package is just about six pounds. So let's get it cut open and see what we got. Okay, I got the end cut open. Took out the paper that was inside. And this is what's in there, and it is heavy. Oh man, what is that? Sheesh. It's wrapped in saran wrap. Let's get that out of the saran wrap. Okay, you can see that it is wrapped in saran wrap. It's got a pretty big head on it. It is an axe. And I don't know if you can see through the plastic there. But it's from Council Tools. So let's get this out of the shrink wrap and see what we got. Well, here it is out of the shrink wrap. And it was a process trying to get it out of that shrink wrap. But it has a sticker on the head that says Council Tool. It says four because it is a four pound head. This is the big one. And then it has the Council Tool logo stamped into the steel there. And then this side stamped into the steel says USA because these are made in America it's got like a red like lacquer coating on it and you can see how it's hung there it doesn't have a steel wedge it just has the wood wedge but it's got a blade protector on it a little rubber blade protector there I opted for the bigger one of these. They come in two sizes. This is the Council Tool Miner's Axe. And you can get it in three, I think it's three and a half pound or four pound. And I went for the bigger four pound one. Because I guess these make really good splitters. So I figured the extra weight would only help. And as you look down it, you can see what a wide like B it is so it definitely is probably a great splitter this is what it looks like with the blade protector off looks like a nice nice crisp edge on there pretty wide handle like it's actually pretty big in my hand up here at the top but it's a hickory handle and let's see here to look at it here it's hard to tell because you can see like the sanding lines and like where the saw blade cut it but if you look down the handle you can see that the grain in the hickory handle is running the right direction it's nice and straight really nice looking I can see the two-tone here. I bet you once this is oiled up, it'll look really, really nice. That's what it looks like from that view. See what that feels like. Mm. Feels like a little burr on there, perhaps. That's a true, like, convex edge on there. Man, I can't get over the weight of this. It's like a it's like a heavy four pound felling axe in a little 20 inch package. But let's do a quick measurement and try to get the exact measurements on this. Well, it's just under 20 inches because the wood probably did come up to 20 and then they saw the top off. So it's about 19 and a half. The length of the head is seven and a half inches. 
The blade is just about five inches. It's just a little over an inch thick on the uh, pole back there. And it looks a little rough. I mean, I see a little bit of waviness to it. But for the most part, it looks fairly straight. Looks like it could use some work though. That's the focus. But it is extremely heavy. Not something that you might want to, probably don't want to lug it around with you like doing bushcraft. But if you have a log pile or a wood pile at home, this would definitely help you. If you want to just use a smaller hatchet size axe to split some nice logs, I mean, I think this would do it. Okay, this is the leather sheath that I ordered for this uh, miner's axe. The sheath also is from Council Tool. It says made in the USA. It doesn't look like it has a leather welt in it. It looks like it's just pinched together. But it has six rivets around the outside edge and stitching. And then it has a rivet here also. It's got a nice buckle. Nice, decent leather. And it's, I ordered this separate. It's just to protect the blade. So let's put it on there and see if it works. Okay, here it is with the council tool sheath on it. It covers the blade well. Looks good. And you can twist these rivets to straighten it up a little bit. Looks really nice. Definitely will do the job and keep the blade protected. But uh, it looks like it's hung well. Pretty nice. If you have any interest in a miner's hatchet. Okay, we got the Council Tool 20 inch four pound this is the big one miners hatchet or miners axe and it is in a dayton pattern it's got a almost a five inch blade i picked up this sheath separately it didn't come with the sheath although this sheath works for any five inch blade council tool axe i believe it's got a nice thick hickory handle, super heavy. I'm going to do a sharpness test now and see how sharp this came, like right from the factory. So let's get that done. Okay, got a sheet of paper here. Got the Council Tool Miner's Axe straight out of the package. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Not terrible, it's not super razor sharp, but it is paper cutting sharp. Probably want to strop this at the very least, but not too shabby for being like a splitting axe. 